this thing on. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another Forever Stranded with me, Technojunk, where we're back in the noisiest room in the world, but hopefully through the magic of post-processing, uh, it will be at least bearable for you guys. I've changed up a little bit in this room. I now have the sticky resin going into a drawer in here, so we can see what's going on, but also it's got a void thing on it. So the farm up the top will, in fact, keep running at all times, because what was happening was, um, as, like, a space was opening up in here, it would harvest, but if it was harvesting more than one sticky resin, then the extra would drop onto the ground. So we're getting extras floating about up here, not being particularly helpful. So uh, just to avoid that sort of thing happening, this will always be harvesting and putting into here, and any extras will be voided off. It doesn't really make a huge amount of difference to the energy use, because this was always using power regardless. It always drains power. Not a huge amount, but it always does. So, uh, there's that. And this then goes over and into our extractor, which has been going quite nicely now for a while. And uh, we're doing quite well on that. We've got our five uh, storage crates across the bottom, and we've got our chests and trap chests, and we're getting ready to plumb this thing in. I have run a cable all the way over from there to here. But it's not just any cable. No, we're going to be doing a peer-to-peer -peer network. If we go... Actually, we don't need to go down there, but I will get a thing to block that little hole up. Um, we can go in here and... <clears throat> out to the side of our quantum chamber, our quantum ring, we've got a, a smart cable. Just a normal smart cable. It's not using any channels at the moment, but it is feeding into the flat face of this peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. And then that is connected via this cable, which is just a normal flux cable, and it goes all the way down this wall here, which I've got covered up with facades, and just to keep things looking nice. So it goes all the way down to the ground, goes along underneath the ground there, and then all the way up. And then I'm going to take this memory card. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It was fine right up until I started pressing the record button. Right, let's go device, copy device configuration to memory card. Excellent. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right, so this memory card should have all the bits and bobs in it we need, all the information. And if we go on over here, we can use this peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. Now, we've got to do this a little bit. I want to have it going up onto here. Um, but what I need to do, yeah, what I'll do is, like, ah, no, you see, I can't do that. I can't do that. Yes, I can. Actually, that's exactly what I want it to do. So, that peer-to-peer -peer tunnel goes there. That goes on to there. Now, aha, there is something I need to do yet. And I need to get some glass fiber cable. Not the, not the industrial craft stuff, but the uh, stuff from here. This stuff. Quartz fiber cable, that's what I need. Because I need to power the far side of this. These do not transfer power. So I need to come up and out like this. Yeah. Okay, that's not precisely how I want it to look. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I really didn't want to do that. Okay, let's start that again. Right. So, we go like that, and where's my peer-to-peer -peer tunnel? There it is. Right. So, peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, and goes... No. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's do that again. Like that. Like that. Peer to peer tunnel. Like that. Then that goes on like that. I'm going to come up and like that, but like that. I like that. There we go. That's what I wanted. No. Mm okay. Mm. Okay. 
that's what I need to make a powered junction, basically. Um, can I make this look a little bit better? Probably not. No. I think that's going to be as good as it's going to get. Still undecided whether I like that. Looking like that. Maybe. Maybe I can use that instead. Yeah, I think because it's less bulky, that looks better. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. And I want... Like that. And just because I want the aesthetics. That's not going to look right. That's not going to look right at all. Ah, I know. Okay, keeping with the aesthetics. And I want... That. Like that. And... That. There we go. Better. Yep, much better. Right. And then that should... Yeah, that works. That works better. Right, okay, let's go over and sort out things over here. I don't know who it is that's making all the noise. It can't be the them over there, is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Right, so we need to do something similar here. For the power on this side. There we go. That should be powered now, so we should be able to take something. I don't know. These glass cables, are they going to go in? Ah, no. Hold on. I need to do the memory card thing, so... Right. Right. Copy device configuration to memory card. Okay. Let's go over here and do the same thing to this one. Loaded device configuration to memory card. Right. Missing channel unlinked. It is linked. Device online. Device copy to memory card. Maybe because it's on this side of the quantum link? Don't think so though. That says it's got two channels used here. That'd be one and two on this side, yeah. Device online. There we go. Cool. That's it, and that should, in a moment, say it's got... Oh, it says it's unlinked. Why is it not linking? This should be working okay. It's got power. You can see that because it's got the two channels. Um, that does say it's an ME loaded device configuration from. No, I want to do copy device configuration to memory card. I'm not aware of there being an issue with having to do... It should be okay. Why you no worky? Hmm. Why you no worky? I no know why you won't no worky. Hmm. That should... Am I doing this the... I am doing this the wrong way around. I'm an idiot. I can see that now. I need to go and put this on because this goes into the way around. Yeah. That's how it should go. Right. It's missing channel unlinked. No. 
That was the correct way round. Yeah. Is it? No, that's the correct way round. Right. Copy device configuration to card. Device is offline and unlinked. Right. Let's try this again. And double check we're in the right way. Loaded device. Device online but unlinked. And no, because that one is the wrong way around. Right. Let's uh, let's do that. Facing up the way, and then that like that, and then there we go. That's better. Linked output side. Cool. Then that should be one of eight channels. Yes, that's correct, because there's only one thing on there. And this has got two channels, because it's got two peer-to-peer -peer tunnels. Oh, that was a little bit of a faff around. It just had the things facing the wrong way. And if we have a look at, have a look in here, yeah, it's taken the stuff out. Yeah. Immediately, we can put those things in. Cool. Right. Now then since I was so rudely interrupted there. I want a storage bus on the back of on the back of here. Let's get in here. So we want a storage bus there. And then we're going to want hmm we're going to want to come out from there and round and up like this and uh, yeah that should be fine and then I want to take these four interfaces and go along like this and turn all of those basically on and that's linked in. So we've got one, five, six things on this side. Yep, six channels all on. Nice one. That's good. I like that. Might change that over for a dense cable. I need to dye it to make it look cool. Um, but we're okay at the moment for that. Now, I want to get these item conduits and come along like this and that's going to be extract always active extract always active extract always active and then we're going to disable disable and disable there we go and then that's going to be an insert. So anything that's made in these machines is going to be ejected into the uh, into the thing below it, and then it's going to get pulled out by this and go along and into the interface there. And then we can start crafting things by putting the crafting. Um, recipe into those. So I'm going to need myself another one of uh, the crafting terminal things for making patterns. Pattern terminal. So let's see about getting one of those. And it will be pattern terminal like that. So I need a crafting terminal which means I need a normal terminal which I don't have any of this stuff for, of course. Come on, thank you. So I can make three of those. So, pattern terminal needs that, needs that. Formation core. And then, annihilation core. 
ME terminal. Needs to be a crafting terminal. Need a calculation processor. And I need some wood. Um, and we can make ME crafting terminal, which means we can make the pattern terminal, which but I need an engineering processor now. It's a good job, I can craft these things, eh? Let's have a look. Do 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 and done in just a moment. Perfect, perfect, perfect pattern terminal. Thank you. One of you. And now Do I just put that above that? I think I do. Like that. And now I need to make blank patterns. Blank patterns, please. Two. Really? Yeah. And there we go. Right, cool. 34 should be sufficient at the moment. And now I get to go um, one iron. Let's see, one iron equals one of you, in code, and I want copper. I've got quite a lot of copper at the moment, but um, I need one, two, three, goes in there like that. Nice one. That's really the main ones that I need at the moment. Let's go and put these in and see what we can do about ordering stuff now, once we've got this in place. So this one is for the making of plates and stuff, which will be that. And this one is for the making of cables and stuff, which is that. Nice one. And with the amount of rubber that we've got on hand now as well, if we have a look at that, yeah, we've got over a thousand rubber. That's cool. If we do iron plates, we should be able to ore drop some now. And if we do copper cables, um, not that we need an awful lot, but we'll ore drop some. So, ah, well, we can't do because we don't have a spare coal processor, but we could if we're, we weren't already crafting something which of course is going to be something we're going to be working on fairly soon. Going into there, yep, yeah, getting put, taken out and put back over into the system. And we should be able to see, yeah, it's doing relatively well at the moment. Uh, so I think that's pretty good for now. We're actually got auto crafting of some stuff. I think next episode. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, maybe something to do with overclockers. That might be a thing. Overclockers. We need to make coolant cells and universal fluid, which means we'd need to make. That's a universal fluid cell with water, but we need the coolant ones. Uh, so we need IC2 coolant, which needs an awful lot of lapis. Hmm, yep, okay. We might be on to that next episode. We'll see. If nothing else crops up in my list of things to do, and if nobody's got any other suggestions, then I think we might do some overclockers for those machines and get things working a little bit better. Yes. Until the next time, of course, folks, a cheery bye and have a funs. Bye bye.